It's something that I see out there, and I want to call it before I get too far deep. When it comes to Teofimo Lopez, I'm noticing that people out there, they're searching. They really are searching. And what I mean by that is they're searching for a reason, a proper reason to launch some kind of hate campaign against Teofimo Lopez. I just want to put it out there that I'm noticing that shit and I see the people's little techniques and I see what they trying to do, but they don't know how to fully go into full hating on Teofimo Lopez mode without looking like a complete hater. So they're trying to build it up. I just had to speak on it because I noticed the atmosphere is trying to change on the guy, you know, and I wanted to speak to y'all why that is, you know, why are they looking for a reason to try to hate on Teofimo Lopez, to try to try to put him uh, in a bad light somehow? Because I know I'm not the only one that has, that has noticed it. And that's simply because of the fact that Teofimo Lopez makes everybody look bad or make their favorite boxer look bad, especially the new generation. That's really what it boils down to. They really wanted one of their young fighters or one of their young uh, fighters that they like, they really wanted them to do what um, Teofimo Lopez did, you know? And in a way, these guys have to protect their fanboyism and some people just have to flat out protect their investment like uh, Floyd. Floyd really can't go in and give all raw compliments to Teofimo Lopez because it's a conflict of interest because of Javante Tank Davis. You have to understand that Teofimo Lopez make Javante Tank Davis look bad. You know, even though he just came off a great win in that and all that, Teofimo Lopez is a mirror, especially to the new division. You can actually see what these guys should have been doing and could have been doing by gauging what you see Lopez doing and what he has already done. You know, he's moved at a pace that, number one, we begged for these guys to do, you know, but also keep in mind when he started moving this way that people complain about the way he was moving, but we begged for these guys to step up. Teofimo is the only one out here uh, as far as the new generation. Um, primarily, he's the one walking it and talking it like a throwback fighter. You know what I'm saying? He's very keen on that. I even watched interviews where he talked about being a throwback fighter, you know, and Teofimo Lopez said something that, especially these boxers, this Mayweather enamored, you know what I'm saying, or want to chase uh, his path. He said something that these guys should have said a long time ago, but it just goes to show you that something as simple as this is not on these people's mind. And Teofimo Lopez said, in order to be Money Mayweather, you got to be pretty boy first. It's like people don't even want to acknowledge the pretty boy phase. Mayweather didn't get to Money Mayweather without being pretty boy. These guys want to jump straight to Mayweather. And that's the problem. On top of not having his work ethic. But then again, that's why they don't talk about pretty boy. Because pretty boy was about putting in that work and doing what he had to do. You know? But I noticed that they're searching. And, and it really are reaching. They really, but there's not... What what can you say about Teofimo Lopez that's going to make him look bad? Nothing, especially at this point, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's disputed, undisputed, you know what I'm saying? H however you want to call it, the guy went in there, became unified, and did his thing, and he did it in a proper fashion. He did it at a fast pace. Uh, he did it young, and he did it impressively. You know, it sets a cast, and you look at the landscape, and you're judging everybody else off of what Teofimo Lopez has done. You know, they know that. This is why, you know, um, they can't compliment him too much. Because if you compliment him too much, you're going to have to put highlighters on what all these other guys was doing. You know? So when you look at what he did with, um, when, when, when you look at what uh, Teofimo Lopez did with Lomachenko, then you look at Javante Tank Davis and say, what the fuck have you been doing? When you look at Teofimo Lopez, then you look back at Earl Spence and say, hey, man, you could have you could have been for Terrence Crawford, man. You know what I'm saying? It's making people, 
I'm going to put it like this. Have you ever mm, got hired on a job and the fact that you work so good is actually a problem because it actually exposes how much the people who have been working there previously haven't been working and they actually want you to slow down and not start working so much because your work after makes them look bad and now the manager or the boss or whatever can look and see how much shit can actually get done in a day. He's looking at his employees like, y'all been fucking lagging. And that's what it is with uh, Teofimo Lopez. You know, I just had to bring it up because I'm just saying that I noticed that these guys are, man, they scratching hard for it. They scratching hard for it. But this is the problem with Teofimo Lopez. People want to try to slap him for a uh, franchise champion. I already said I don't condone franchise champion. But the way he spoke about franchise champion, I don't mind. See, I understand that Teofimo Lopez is ready to get paid. You know what I'm saying? Teofimo Lopez is just about, um, just as much about the money that he is about uh, the legacy. But he's willing to do the hard work to get himself in a position to call the shots to make the big money. You know? So, I understand the whole franchise thing. But if people want to knock him for having franchise, he said something that basically summed it up. He said, I'll fight Javante Tank Davis and Devin Haney. Since we worry about the franchise title being a duck title, the point is the two people that he named is two people that you would actually use that fran franchise title for to duck. But he's already talked about fighting Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? So you got a lot of Devin Haney fanboys acting like he's being ducked. When Devin Haney has already came out on camera and told you, yeah, we we, uh, we FaceTime, we talk personally, you know what I'm saying? And when the time's right, you know what I'm saying, we gonna get it done. They're already on their radar to fight. You know what I'm saying? But like Teofimo Lopez said, I don't believe these guys will step up to the plate either. I don't believe it's them. I believe it's their handlers. You know what I'm saying? I believe if anybody would step up to the plate, it would be Devin Haney before anybody. Before anybody, especially before Tank. Tank needs to stay away from somebody like Teofimo Lopez. You know what I'm saying? Period. And some people say, well, you know, Tank school Teofimo Lopez in uh in a sparring. No. Teofimo Lopez was a little kid and he was lighting Tank ass up. Tank was just too big and powerful and was pot shotting the shit out of him. You know what I'm saying? But put him in the ring now. He'll school him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, oh, what about the fight with Devin Haney T? Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney got off in this and snap. Once again, just like uh, Javante Tank Davis was able to overpower him or win the sparring match between him and Teofimo Lopez when uh, he was younger, it's the same thing now. You, you, you still think those things will happen right now? Well, if not, we'll see. Because think about Teofimo Lopez. When has he hesitate calling Lomachenko a bitch, Javante Tank Davis a bitch, and Devin Haney a bitch? When has he hesitated? He's been on fight hype, but plenty of times. The kid is not hiding. The kid is not hiding. They're trying to slap some kind of fear on this guy. When ain't no fear in him. None whatsoever. The only thing that these guys got to do is step up to his level, to step up to his pace where he's moving. Because as of right now, he's the leader of the new school. There's no doubt about it. He's the leader of the new school. He's ahead of everybody. Period. He's ahead of everybody. As far as the new generation, the new class, the young bucks, the young guns, he's at the top. They're all behind him. You know what I'm saying? Javante, Haney, they're all behind him. Period. And I know some of the people don't like that, but this is what I'm saying. Your fighter can have the same balls he had. They can double down on themselves just like he did. They, they can gamble on themselves just like he did. Everybody got that Lomachenko guy that you could chase. You know what I'm saying? With Errol Spence, it's Terrence Crawford. With Javante Tank Davis, it was, it was a, um, it was a, it was a Vasily Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? But he could have got that with Vasily Lomachenko. He could have got that with Tevin Farmer. You, you know what I'm saying? He he didn't have his opportunities. You know what I'm saying? The only one that I could say. That has been looking and not been getting is been Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? I think Devin Haney's just getting fighting whatever whatever he can get his hands on because these guys don't want to give him a fight. You know what I'm saying? But as far as leader of the new school, he's leader of the new school. Period.
you know what I'm saying? And, and right behind him, to me, would be Devin Haney. Or or if y'all want to put him in the same spot. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't matter. But they're trying to turn this guy into something that he's not. And they have no evidence or no proof or no room to slap any kind of accusations on him. You can't slap ducking on him. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Lomo sections already tried that when he wanted more money. He's ducking. He's ducking. Now, now look how they looking. Sick with it. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with Devin Haney. He said he'll fight him. Javante Davis, he said he'd fight him. But we know Javante can't go near him. The only one that can do is Devin Haney. But at the end of the day, Y'all trying to find a reason to hate on this man because you don't like what he has executed in the game. And you wish your fighter, your man was able to step up like that. You wish he could have had a moment like that. You know what I'm saying? But they all can. Once they start moving like a throwback fighter, you get throwback fighter results. You get a throwback fighter reputation. It's just simple and play. You know? With great risk comes great rewards. You know what I'm saying? It's no gust without glory. That's what Teofimo Lopez has shown to you. He had to go against the whole entire boxing world. For the most part, he had to go entire. He had to go against the whole entire boxing world. He said when he got done beating Lomachenko, and he went backstage, he said it looked like a funeral. He said everybody was sad, looking at the floor, and, and wouldn't make eye contact with him. You know what I'm saying? He was fighting a lot of different things, but he doubled down on something, and he believed himself no matter what, no matter how much people clowned him. And and you got to look at the eye of the time. That's a lot because people was drunk off Lomachenko. Just saying that Lomachenko could get beat. You was you was this, that, and the third. A casual didn't know shit about boxing. You need to shut the fuck up. Go dig yourself in a hole and go jump in it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can imagine with him trying to launch his campaign and, and all the people he had against him say, yeah, well, you might be good, but I don't know. Loma, 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 Loma. And look where we at right now. All these guys could do what he done. The only thing they got to do is move like he moved. Nobody's stopping him. You know what I'm saying? Other than their handlers, nobody's stopping him. But I just had to speak on it because I'm noticing that y'all trying to find a reason to hate this man. Y'all trying to find a reason to lie about him. Y'all trying to find a reason to say he's something that he's not. Y'all trying. And, and I see you. And y'all haven't found nothing to stick yet, but y'all steady scratching this surface. I see y'all every day doing it. I see y'all every day doing it. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't going to matter, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he showed you what he's willing to do. He's already put out there. He told you he'll fight Loma. He did that. He told you he'll fight Javante. He told you he'll fight uh, Tank. He, he He's already told you guys this. So why are you guys trying to make it up? Because he has franchise on him. Oh, he's running. He's ducking. He don't want no. Man, shut the fuck up. Y'all shut the fuck up. Y'all just haters, man. Get a man his credit. Because like Tia Fima Lopez, I'm tired of this shit. Bruce Van, I'm out.